Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a <laughs> unboxing. Yes. So today's unboxing comes to us from Amazon. Um, this company, I don't know if it sells diamond paintings. Like, like I'm okay. Obviously, they sell diamond paintings. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day, by the way. Of course you are. You came to see me. Hello. Let's brighten up your day with some diamond painting. Um, but a, a lot of the stuff like under their name on Amazon isn't diamond painting, but they do have a couple of diamond paintings. Now, I will admit, I got this a while ago and kind of forgot about it. And I was cleaning up my craft room, see what happened was. Um, and I happened to find it. So I'm like, oh, we might as well go ahead and get into it. So I was like, I, I told them I was going to do a series and I was looking on Amazon at a couple of places and I hadn't bought anything yet, but here it is. Isn't that cute? I love that little box. That little box is super cute. And it says diamond painting. <laughs> so I, I, like I said, I found this while I was cleaning up my craft room today. Cause every once in a while you got to stop diamond painting the clean up craft room. Cause Laura knows there's a hot mess in here. And I was like, oh, well, I should probably unbox this. So here it is. Now this place is called Yummy Love. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's called Yummy Love over on Amazon. And the kits that they do have do seem to be like a, a they seem to be a Shutterstock images. So like public domain. So I was like, oh, well let me go check this out. So I went ahead and checked it out. And I got this one, cause you guys know Miss Coffee loves her some suns and moons and celestial things. And look, we have a cute little well down here at the bottom. All right, so we're gonna fold this, or not fold it, we're going to, you're gonna hear Killian coming up behind me because of course he always thinks I have food. We're gonna get whatever this is off the canvas. It's got a sparkly canvas, like, I don't know if you can see it there on the edges, there's like sparkles. So this is supposed to be a 40 by 30. Now these are just snack size paint. This this is just a snack size painting. I only have one. Um, Cause I saw this one and I was like, ooh, the colors. <laughs> So here you have it, and I'm gonna have to lay something down on it because it doesn't want to lay flat for me. So yes, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. There we go. So that is the image there. Just a small little snack size painting. Now images like this don't usually measure good, uh, true to size, but they are good little snack size paintings to do in between some of the bigger paintings. So I figured I would give it a show. So you have your basic pumpkin spice toolkit. You have a green boat with a funnel or without a funnel, two plates of pink wax, which I wouldn't recommend because they're transparent. So you can see right through them and they're usually not good quality. Uh, some baggies. And then we have this pen. Y'all don't care about that toolkit. So we also have our colors, which this kit has 20 colors. Let's take a look at this, these drills real quick. Now the drills that come in this bag, I don't know if it's just this, the machine that makes them in this bag or what, but these are actually some really good quality drills in these bags. I haven't had any problems with the drills that come in bags like this. They are numbered in order. So there you have it. One, two, three, four. The DMC code is on the bag. So 157 is number one. So down here on the kit, 157 is number one. So that's a plus because then you know which DMC number is which. So when you go to kit this up, you already know which DMC number it is. And again, it has 20 colors. Ooh, I like that color. Number 18, which is 3809. And then of course, number 20 is off here by itself. So, let's get those drills out the way. Let's measure it to see if it's true to size. And like I said, not all companies on Amazon are going to have kits that are true to size. A lot of them will look like this. And that's perfectly okay because these types of kits are okay to work on too. They're actually a lot of fun, especially like I said, if you work on a lot of bigger kits. So it's 35 and I'm going to guess the other side is 25. 25. So it's 35 by 25 drilling area. 40 by 40 is the entire canvas itself. It has one legend here at the top on the left hand side. Um, it actually is a really cute little kit. So we're going to bring it down into its business so we can check out that uh, drill space area. And you're looking at this in natural light. So if I was working on this, that's the type of lighting you're looking at this in. And as you can see, we see a couple. Let's make sure there's not no glare. That was a glare. So we can see those are number threes. They look like backward C's though, don't they? 
but I can see the like the sparkle or the shimmer on the canvas, so that's a nice touch. If I was, if I was being critically nitpicky, I would say about them symbols, but I mean, because look at that, it looks like a backward C. But they're not all like that. Some of them you can actually make out into number three. Some of them you can't. But obviously because it's the same color code, it's going to be a number three. And then I was looking at this number four right here because it looks like something happened here to make it kind of flood into some of the other ones. But luckily you can read the symbols around it. So not too bad. The symbol quality looks really good. You can find a lot of great little deals over on Amazon. Um, and that's why I wanted to do this series is so that you can see that not all kits have to be expensive. They do have a lot of public domain images over on Amazon. Now you do have to be very careful because Amazon does carry some stolen artwork when it comes to diamond painting. So just be weary when you're looking at diamond paintings on Amazon that you're looking at uh, to check the or do a reverse image search to make sure you're not buying a stolen image or go over to www.tin.com. E -Y -E .com. And that uh, website, if you put, if you input the picture, it will show you uh, the other places that picture has come up and it will potentially lead you to an artist. But when I saw this picture, I knew I had to have it because it was just completely adorable and it, it's celestial. Again, it only has 20 colors. And from what I can, there's no like circles around the symbols or anything like that. Because I know that's another big thing for some people. They don't like those symbols or the circles around the symbols. I am also one of those people that don't like it. Um, My thing is, what's up with like the, like you see how it, like right here. See how that white bleeds out a little bit? I mean, you can still make out the symbols around it. Which I guess might be a decoration so that when you place that drill down, you're not so much seeing the white underneath it. Because one of my biggest pet peeves whenever I'm working on diamond paintings like this is being able to see that white underneath it. But this is just me being nitpicky. But like, it's just, I just thought it was kind of weird that they did that. Like how it bleeds out into the other symbols. But again, that could be a star. Like I'm guessing those are stars. So you will see the original image pop up on the screen for you. But this is going to be just a really quick video just showing off this kit because I thought it was incredibly cute. And again, I found it when I was cleaning my craft room. It doesn't really have a name on it, but uh, over on the website, which I will have linked down in the description box of this video. So look for the website link there. Also, do keep in mind that I am an Amazon influencer. So any link that I put from Amazon will be an influencer link, which means I might make a small commission off of it. So I thank you in advance if you choose to use it. But with that said, I've used up enough of your time today. Thank you for coming to see me. I really appreciate it. It was always nice seeing you. It's always nice when you visit. But with that said, folks, I got to get out of here. Stay caffeinated. Stay crafty. Please remember, we're still in the middle of a Panda Express. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face in public. Keep your six feet and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.